Welcome back to the morning wrap. September is pet pain awareness month and like humans, pet can experience pain, but unlike humans, pets really can't express their pain through words. So joining me right now on the wrap to discuss what pet parents need to know about pet pain is Dr. Ruth McPeat, a veterinarian and also the author of Lizette the Vet. Hello and thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Hi, thanks for having us. Hi, so you have a, my eyes are so bad. That is your little pup that always comes, but is that a cat too? Yes, yeah, okay. I got my cat, <laughs> one of my cats here. Oh, perfect. I love that we're repping both because I feel like we only see the, the pups, but now we get to see the cute little cat. So what are the um, common causes of pain in animals and some of the signs that pet owners should be aware of? Well, first of all, it's really important that people realize pets feel pain just like we do. The only difference is that they can't talk and tell us when they're uncomfortable or when they're in pain. So it's up to us to be on the lookout for signs our pets are in pain. Uh, pets can be in pain for a number of different reasons. Some of them are the same as us. They can be in pain because of an acute injury. They tore a toenail. Uh, they have a laceration or a bite wound or an infection somewhere. And they can also be in pain um, from chronic conditions. So things like arthritis or degenerative diseases, dental disease or cancer. All of those things can be painful to our pets. Okay, so are there any differences um, with a cat versus a dog, you know, for in case someone at home has both of them just like you? Great question. Um, you know, the big thing that people need to realize is that with dogs and cats, the signs can be very subtle. Pets are hardwired to not show signs of illness or signs that they're sick because in the wild, that could be a death sentence. So especially cats are very, very adept at hiding signs that they're sick. Oh, my cat is trying to take off. <laughs> so they can really hide signs that they're sick and they can be very subtle. But the signs are going to be similar uh, with dogs and cats. You may notice that your pet is vocalizing. They can whimper or whine if you touch an area that's painful. Uh, you may notice that they're panting more if it's a dog or shaking. They can be restless. Uh, sometimes they're trembling or circling, having trouble laying down or getting up. People will sometimes notice that the animal has lameness or they're limping. Um, and then sometimes you'll notice that the pet is has a change in their appetite or their attitude or personality. So somebody may notice that their pet's uh, more um, crabby, they seem more aggressive, more reactive than normal. And this can definitely be a sign that your pet is in pain. The key is to really notify your veterinarian if you notice any changes or anything that seems different or off about your pet. Okay, so we know that pet care can be pretty expensive. So do you have any medications or any tips that we can give our pets before we make that decision to go straight to, to a vet or a pet hospital? Um, great question. Um, yes, you know, uh, there's no doubt about uh, the fact that people want to a lot of times take care of their pets at home, but it is really, really important that people know that a lot of medication may be safe for us. There may be an over-the-counter medicine that we take that's safe for us, but it can be deadly to pets. Even giving a pet another pet's medication can be harmful or even deadly. So I always recommend if you think your pet is in pain to first check with your veterinarian. They can give you advice over the phone. There's a number of different telehealth veterinary services that can advise you, but you don't want to just give medicine uh, without first checking with your veterinarian to that make sure sense. that it's safe yeah. and acceptable for your pet. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We ran out of time, but you're the best. Really appreciate you coming thank on you. and giving us all these amazing tips. Um, appreciate it. And you can find more information thank about you. this over on our website, kcalnews.com slash the morning wrap. That does it for us. Stick around for KCAL News at noon with Amy Johnson.